you guys, um, this is Payman from Redcage. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video to uh, show you a little tip when it comes to changing a built-in parameter uh, within a family and changing it from instance to type. So one example would be the fire rating for a door. So if you might have noticed uh, uh, by now Revit does have a fire rating parameter when it comes to their doors but it is a type based parameter you know you have to create new types of doors for every fire rating which uh, you don't necessarily want to do you want that parameter to be instance based uh, a lot of firms I go to they instead of utilizing this parameter they create uh, a new parameter and they call it FR or something something like that and they go about it that way I'm going to show you how to actually take this parameter and switch it up to an instance. Now you can't, because it's, it's, it's a built-in parameter, you can't just delete it. So we're going to go into the, the family itself and you can see that if you go uh, to the uh, types, uh, you can see that it's here, but you can't delete it. You can't do anything about it. Uh, you can edit the parameter, but you that like you can't. It gives you the option, but you really have no options. It's a built-in parameter. So the workaround for this is to simply let's take we're gonna copy that uh, the actual name because naming conventions are important uh, in Revit. So we're gonna change the category of our door to a generic model, and now that we've done that. We can go in back into our types and we can go we can we can see that you know that fire rating parameter is now gone it's not here anymore so now we can create our new one uh, and we're gonna make it fire rating we're gonna make it instance based and it's gonna be a text parameter and we're gonna group it under identity data so once we've done all that we hit okay we hit apply we hit okay now we go back to the category we go from generic model and we're gonna go back to doors and once we do that, you can go into your types and you will see when you get to identity data, you have fire rating and it's now an instance parameter. So the benefit of doing it this way is, you know, once you've got it loaded into the project, yeah, we're going to overwrite. We're going to look at it. And now that fire rating is now an instance based. Now you don't have to create multiple types in order to you know add fire ratings whether you want it to be 60 minutes whatever an hour two hours whatever it's supposed to be and you can see it it's applied to all of these guys now of course the bad thing is you kind of have to do it with every type of door that you bring in it, it is what it is it's something that you you, you know you got to do either you do it that way or you create a new parameter I prefer doing it this way because this is, you know, it's a built-in parameter. Uh, why not just use a lot, utilize it so you don't have, you don't have like an empty field somewhere when you start scheduling. Yeah, so this this concept, like you can use this technique with pretty much uh, any built-in parameter within a family. Change it from instance to type or vice versa. That's essentially the method you would go about doing it. You know, I'm sure a lot of you probably already know about it. Revit's been around for a while. I'm sure somebody has come across this technique before. Simple technique, quick little tip.